Hi my little butterflies, so this is going to be just a quick little life update. Okay, so I know it's been a long time since y'all have seen me. And the last time that I came back, I say it was the last time I was coming back. And yeah, so here I am. I don't really have a reason for why I stopped filming other than it's just I just wasn't feeling it. Just had a lot going on. I just, I didn't have the energy to do it, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. I just, I was unhappy what where I was in my life. I just was looking at my life and I didn't like where I was for what the age that I'm at. And I know everybody's like, you know, you don't have to match your age with what other people think you should be doing. It's kind of hard to do that when you're looking at other people your age, doing what you think you were supposed to be doing. And you look at where you at and it's like, I let the ball drop. So, needless to say, um, first thing first, I have had a job change. I'm no longer working at Home Depot. Thank God. Retail is gone. I'm not looking back. I'm not going back. I was not feeling it. And I'm going to be so honest, and I don't care because I don't work there anymore. But it's just got to the point where leaders at my Home Depot just weren't the same anymore. Um, new store managers that did not care about their employees and only cared about their self and what they wanted to get done and knowing I said in one of my um one of my beginning of view beginning of the year videos that I wanted to my goal if I was going to be in retail if I was going to be at this job I wanted to move up I wanted to be a supervisor knowing that that was and I and he knew that that was my goal knowing that's what it was I thought that's what I was working towards and you want to give me more and more and more and more stuff to do and more responsibilities great but they're in in no sight line of giving me a promotion what am I doing all this extra for to stay where I'm at get paid the same thing I'm getting paid no and it's just to the point where I'm unhappy it got to the point where I kind of at first, I kind of liked my job. It was interesting. It was new. I worked at Home Depot. I worked in plumbing. And I knew nothing about plumbing. And I worked at Home Depot for almost three years. If I would have stayed um, till this month, actually, November, I would have made my three years on Black Friday. And I did not do that. And I'm not sorry that I didn't do that. I've always wanted to be in the medical field. I went to Blue Cliff. Four years ago to do medical assistant and yeah four years ago people you heard that right and I could not find a job in it when I finished and I applied and I applied and I applied and could not find any jobs I made um, a real talk video about jumping over these kind of hurdles that I was jumping over that's how I ended up at Home Depot to begin with and it kind of just made me feel like I didn't want to look for it anymore it kind of I kind of made me feel defeated because it's like I keep trying to do stuff and be positive and not be like other people you know my age it does not do anything and it's just like I'm trying to do something positive with my life couldn't find a job and then I kind of just gave up on it and then going through what I was going through and Home Depot before I left made me start doing applications again um, I had to of course get my BSL um, certification all over again your ba I mean BLS your basic life support uh, certification all over again because it had expired you're supposed to renew it every two years and that's why I was like I'm not renewing it don't make no sense I'm not finding a job so but I had to redo that I did applications all over again and then if I made a plan in my mind that if I did not hear anything back from any of the applications that I filled out if I didn't hear anything back by October I was going to just re-enroll in school for something else and try something else. I just, I know I've always wanted to be in, my, in the medical field. So I was going to re-enroll and do nursing. I put in a bunch of applications and like towards the end of August, I got my first call and I was like, oh, that was fast. And I started doing interviews with the organization that I wanted to work for to begin with. Like this is the dream organization because I know with them, they promote continuing education so after I start working for them after I work for them for like a, so long they'll pay for me to do a nursing program I don't have to pay for it myself the only deal is you have to work with them for so long I'm like I don't care that means I have 
guaranteed a job when I'm out. I don't have to look for a job all over again. I have a job when I'm finished. So I don't think that's a bad idea. But I finally went through a bunch of different applications for them and finally I got a job. So I'm a medical assistant now. I'm actually working as a medical assistant now. I've always had my certification for it since before I was pregnant with Khalil when I finished actually. And now I fi I'm finally actually working as a medical assistant. And I really love it. Like I'm, I think it's more of the mindset of I'm finally where I want to be. I'm on the path that I want to be at. Of course, I don't want to stay a medical assistant. I want to move up. You know, I want to... I'm just not sure if I want to move up to LPN or do a RN program. I'm not sure. I have time to think about it. I'm just, I'm excited. Like, I'm super excited. I'm a medical assistant and I work in neurosurgery. So, on, and I work in a clinic. I don't work in a hospital. I work in an actual doctor's office. So, I don't have to deal with COVID patients. I know a lot of people always ask me, oh, well, how do y'all deal with the COVID patients and all that? Like, I don't, we don't get COVID patients. I work in a doctor's office. Um, of course, there's still procedures. Everybody has to wear a mask. You know, there's sanitizing procedures for all of that. But as far as, I, I'm not actually working in the hospital itself. So, I love my job. <laughs> I love my job. I have the opportunity to learn other specialties, not just the one I work in. Because in the suite that I work in, it's three different specialties. It's neurosurgery, um, orthopedics, and uh, podiatry. And I, don't get me wrong, I would help help out if they ask, but I don't I don't do feet. Feet is not my thing. Uh, feet is one of those things where they say everybody that's in the healthcare field has their thing that makes them gag. Feet is it. I can't do it. I've never been a feet person. Um, feet, vomit. Feet, vomit, or phlegm, or mucus. Those things right there I can't do. I can do blood. I don't mind looking at wounds or taking staples out anything like that because we do remove staples i'm perfectly fine with that <laughs> but feet no thank you <laughs> no thank you so i have the opportunity to learn other specialties and also i think at, at, after six months you have the opportunity to if you want to start putting in applications to transfer to different specialties within you can so even if i went to go to gynecology or family medicine or something like that if i just in six months if i feel like okay i want to learn something new i can put in applications to learn excuse me to move to different locations to move to different specialties and learn them so i'm i'm excited like i like but that's, that's what i've been doing i've been kind of getting adjusted um i've been doing that for about a month i started in october so i'm just it's a lot of weight off off your shoulders when you when you stop doing something you're unhappy with because like when i was still working at home depot when it finally settled in that like i hate coming here it was the hardest thing in the world to get up and go there to go to work every day that i had to work to hit that clock to stay there all day and deal with it. it it got to the point where i just i hated it it got to the point where that morning i would wake up and just stare at the ceiling and just like i don't want it got to the point i didn't care if i was late anymore i didn't care what i did when i was there i just i didn't care it it's it just it, it really take an effect on your mood and i'm a lot happier since i left there i'm a lot lighter Oh my god, it's a lot less anxiety than what I was having before because I used to have full-on anxiety Like just getting up to get dressed to go there and it's just I my heart would be pumping out of my chest I feel like my hands were shaking I, I was having these pains in my chest because of it and it's just it's gone now I get it every now and then of course still like my very first day was bad because I was so nervous and I'm just, I was breathing, I could remember I was breathing hard in my mask. I was like, and I was trying to calm myself down and take deep breaths. Because I'm just like, oh my God. Like, I was so nervous my first day. But it's better. It's better now. It's still, of course, I still get it. Anxiety is not something that just goes away. But it's not every day, every time I hit the clock. Like, I actually like going to work. I like being at work. It's just it's finally something I want to do. It's finally something I could call and say I have a career. It's the beginning of my career. And it's not just a job. So I've had a lot going on. Let's see what else. That I, that was the big thing. Um, let's see what else I have going on. I didn't have these <laughs> the last time I don't think. I did a video. Um, yeah so I've always supposed to 
have worn glasses. Um, I never did. I had some reading glasses um, before I had these and I stopped wearing them. My eyes got worse and apparently I'm farsighted in one eye and nearsighted in the other eye. And the only reason I actually went back to the eye doctor was because driving wise, it was killing me. Because I'm just like, I hate driving at night, I hate driving in the rain. During the day, the sun is killing me, but it's not just the sun. I can only see so far ahead of me and then everything starts getting blurry. And oh my God, you guys, nobody told me that glasses was the doorway to the real world. I felt like when I put these on, I felt like I saw the world for the first time. Like you have no idea how long. I sat in the parking lot. I went to America's Best. This is not a promotion. But I sat in the parking lot for like a good 5-10 minutes just doing this. Because I just couldn't believe the difference. I was like, how have I been walking around like this? How have I been driving? Who gave, who gave me a driver's license with my eyes like this? I was stunned, astonished. Like, I don't know, like, nobody, nobody told me, okay? And I was, I was skeptical about, uh, skeptical about, I was skeptical, skeptical, skeptical. I was worried about <laughs> wearing, because I didn't, I didn't think I, I was going to like how I looked in them, honestly. Like, because I'm, I know I'm already nerdy. I didn't want to look extra nerdy. And then I'm tomboyish, so I was like, glasses might make me look real butch, and I don't want to look butch. And I look really cute in them. Like, this is my style. And everybody that said, you know what? That's, the, that's She said, those are really cute. And they'll look at them and they're like, you know what? That's you. Thank you. <laughs> so, that's new. It's just, I, I just haven't had the energy to sit down and film. Like, even read. Like, my reading has been really slow. And I have, I now my new job, I can actually have time to read in between patients when, you know, patients... Um, are done or when you know I don't have any messages to answer I actually have time to really sit there and read <laughs> it's not just I'm standing up on my feet all day but it's just I, I have a bunch of books that are waiting for me to put them up on the shelf because I have my shelves alphabetized by last name of author um, I don't know if that's extra I know some people do it by color but I don't like that I like my series to be together and my the books by that author to be together but when I first when I buy books and if I don't feel like putting them on a shelf right away and putting them in the right spot I just sit them on a shelf and I just stack them up on top of each other and I just go back later and put them up where they need to go I haven't done that I think I have 12 books just sitting on the shelf on top of each other right now that I have not put up and I need to do that this space has kind of went from being just like my book nook to kind of being my book nook and my craft storage space and it was just piling up and that's more of a reason why I didn't record because I didn't feel like moving it out the way to set up my to try to set up my tri stand and my camera to actually do a video so I need to do some spring cleaning not necessarily in this area but in other areas of the house because I have a lot of stuff I know that can go in the trash and make space for my craft stuff somewhere else so it makes me kind of want to come over here because the condition that is in it makes me not want to come over here because I have to move stuff out of the way to get in here and set it up and then do the video and then put everything back so I don't know we're going through some changes slowly but surely yeah I, I don't I'm trying to think and make sure that was all of the life updating that I needed to do well Kalea is doing fine um <laughs> she about to be four next month I don't know when I got a four-year-old and like I was doing these videos and I was pregnant with her like I can't even like she's a booktube baby like <laughs> the her first like couple of like her first month I, sh I was showing her off on here and now she's about to be four like I don't know where they went like I know I do where I came from and oh my god like nobody told me the mouth of a four-year-old like of a girl like I don't know if it's just mine I don't know if it uh, uh, what is it but oh my god so anyway I think that's all I have for life updates right now um I have a a lot more ideas for my channel I have a lot of more videos that I already have planned out in my head that I want to do this is gonna be the last one I do tonight because it's like 10 30 already yeah I'm probably not gonna record on the weekend I'm probably gonna just do Monday or Tuesday and that's another thing it's just I'm 
I've been doing this for so long. I've been doing this for five, six years now. Five. And I'm still not comfortable filming with someone else at home. Well, my husband at home. Like, I really will recall when he's not here. Even though he will go in the other room while I record, I just, I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just not. Even when I lived with my mom, and I, that's when I started Big Tooth, when I still lived with my mom, I wasn't. I didn't recall when she was home. I always recall when she was gone. I would hurry up and recall while she was gone before she got back home. Like, I don't know what it is. I just, I don't know how y'all do that. Like, how do y'all get comfortable to do that? I just, I don't know. Like, I don't even want him to watch my videos in front of me. Like, I told him he could watch it, just not when I'm around. Like, I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know how to get rid of that. But yeah, that's all my updating I have right now. Um, Black Lives Still Matter, Stitch is my spirit animal. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.